Hello all and uh, good morning and an update on the uh, issue I was having with the location of the Celeroid CT clamp uh, since putting in the My Energy Zappi. Um, from my previous video you uh, will remember that uh, uh, the cellar edge CT clamp was in the consumer unit and everything was working absolutely fine until such time as we put the uh, Zappi in. Uh, the CT um, clamp for the uh, cellar edge inverter was up in the consumer unit and obviously all of the uh, domestic load from our property was coming off the consumer unit including the My Energy um, Eddy obviously. Um, so both the cellar edge and the uh, my energy uh, CT clamps were both in the consumer unit and uh, working as advertised. Uh, the data was pretty much um, coincidental, um, bar just a, a few watts, probably due to the fact that one is a powered CT and the other one isn't. I have found that the, the Solar Edge one, being that it's um, a powered CT clamp, probably or certainly gives more accurate and um, data much more uh, readily. Um, in any case, um, for all intents and purposes, both were reading absolutely fine. Uh, the problem came when I added the My Energy Zappi and because the power source of the Zappi came out of here, out of the uh, out of a Henley block um, arrangement in the meter cupboard, um, the power for the Zappi was coming out before the, the meter as such into the consumer unit. Now I'm not an electrician and I I don't profess to know exactly what's happening here um, in so much as whether this power is upstream or downstream of the consumer unit but the what was happening was and we had the problem with the Zappi was that when it was drawing power um, the solar edge was actually showing the power coming out of the Zappi um, as export which is obviously incorrect it's draw uh, from the house and that's because um, of this arrangement here with the um, Zappi being powered from the Henley block and not being powered from the consumer unit. Um, I also saw that the um, metering from the CT clamp from my energy was also showing some spurious information and actually the my uh, Zappi wasn't working at all it was showing all this export and of course because it saw it as export um, and it was on Eco Plus um, the wattage just ramped up to maximum even though there was actually no excess power. So we rectified that by moving the My Energy CT clamp from inside the consumer unit uh, outside here onto the live meter tail and everything working perfectly. The problem we still had of course was the solar edge uh, CT clamp was still in the consumer unit and of course uh, this was still showing as um, export. Not a big problem in the big scheme of things, um, you know it's working and the Zappi is working and the My Energy devices are working perfectly but the data that I'm getting on the Solar Edge is inaccurate because every time the Zappi is uh, char uh, charging the car it's showing it as export which is obviously not correct and we're looking at getting a battery at some point and I need to know accurately how much uh, energy I'm exporting um, so that um, we can justify having a battery installed or not. So I thought to myself well if the CT clamp for my energy is working outside here in the uh, meter tails then the CT clamp for the solar edge should be positioned here as well and I have just uh, fitted it this morning and you can see the black and white uh, um, lead uh, which now goes into the mod bus uh, inside the house. Of course this wasn't here before I've had to thread it through the wall and into my meter box. I've left it like this because I just wanted to make sure that it worked. I will put some trunking in there and tidy it all up so you won't see it. Um, of course when the solar is installed naturally it's going to go into the consumer unit uh, because that's where all your consumption is and so when it was installed by our um, solar installers we didn't have the Zappi at the time and of course when the Zappi was installed the easiest thing to do is to put it in the meter cupboard so yeah, you've got two different companies here um, installing based on their own requirements and it's just a case of sort of marrying the two up and the only way we can do that is by putting both CT clamps in the meter cupboard here 
where ultimately all the power is coming from. Um, be careful if you do this though, um, because the meter, the uh, CT clamp for the solar edge, the cable is only two and a half meters long, and I've probably got about six inches, maybe 10, 15 centimeters of excess um, slack uh, when I bring it into the meter cupboard. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's probably the other reason that they go into the consumer unit because there just isn't enough spare lead and I don't think these can be extended either so anyway I've got some photographs which I'll put on if I haven't done so already uh, showing you the location of where the CT clamp was in my consumer units uh, for both the MyEnergy energy and solar edge I've also got some photos showing um, the cons the um, problem that I was having with the export um, being shown uh, while the Zappi was being used and of course the correct configuration as it is now as I've taken some photographs this morning. So look, I hope it's a little bit long-winded but I hope you uh, get something from it and understand it. If you've got a solar edge inverter uh, and a Zappi and your Zappi is powered from your uh, meter tails then you're going to need to put both CT clamps for my energy and solar edge in your, cons in your meter cupboard on the brown live wire that's um, uh, coming, uh, I don't know, in or out of your meter, uh, your um, smart meter, your smart meter. Thanks very much for watching.